And honestly, I'm poor. Like, I'm dirt poor. I think everyone is, so. I'm hoping to change it. I'm hoping to change it real soon. Like, really, really soon we're gonna have um, savings and some money and our own place that we own where no one can boss us around. Um, James is a little bossy, but I mean, besides from ourselves, we're not gonna have any issues. I actually think I might go all the way up to the top because I don't want to cross over two ways. I just want to cross over one way. So I'm gonna go down and go around the bank. Boom, boom. Just checked on Karina too while I was giving away the bag. She's awesome. But yeah, I don't know. I like to give stuff to people, and I like when people give stuff to me. You know, I'm not really a gift person. That's not really my love language. Like, you know, it's James's love doing. Like James likes gifts. You know, because he tries to give people gifts. He tries to show love that way. But I mean, it's just not my love language. So, the James's gifts and time. Mine's physical touch and um, acts of service. So like, I show love by doing a lot of things for a lot of people and um, physical touch. So those are my two tops. Like everyone else has, everyone has like all five of them. There's the five love language. It's um, acts of service, it's um, gifts, physical touch. Um, there's two more. Time. There's one more. I don't know. I have to look it up. I don't remember what the last one is. But there's one more. And, like, it's just you just fill up, you know, the love bucket. Your love gas tank. So this way, um, the person that you're with feels loved. And uh, James wants me to do more things with him. Even though I do a lot of things for him. So. I don't know. But the things that he likes to do, I find incredibly boring like he likes to sit a lot and he likes to he likes the blue screens and I I like I like my videos that I make but I, I don't like to sit with the computers like if you notice like when we're home during the day the computers are not on neither of them unless I'm uploading videos while Kurt is sleeping um or like so we do have um the movies that Karina watches so there is that oh, I guess this guy's moving over here he has a budget truck 1-800 go budget alright <laughs> and then there's this like little tiki cafe thing going on around here which I think is pretty cool I thought that James would like to stop by at the one night but he doesn't want to I'm really glad that he didn't because we don't have any money anyway like we're, we're seriously we don't have anything but I mean that's okay you don't need physical money to be emotionally, spiritually, and finally rich. Because richness doesn't really come from money. It comes from being willing to go out and have experiences and being willing to go out and just enjoy life every single day. You don't need any money. Like, everything that you need, you could find for free. Whether it's clothes, whether it's food, whether it's um, really housing. Housing is like some one thing that you can't really find for free. And um, if you do find it for free, it's in a shelter usually. Um, or it's in a tent, or else it's in an RV that you were living in. But I mean, if you can um, find free housing, that would be pretty awesome. Like, um, buy things outright, own your own property, own your own land, and then just pay the property taxes on things, and you are really free. I mean, my father owned two houses, two of them, um, and he was fine financially. And he was, you know, he had a labor job, blue holler, he was um, a forklift driver. So, I mean, it's not like he made tons of money or anything. So, you know. Alright, I'm going to turn my car around so I can park on the other side of the street. That's it for my update.